What's going on, everybody? I appreciate all of you hanging out, waiting on the stream. Star for those of you catching the replay, though, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. When we take these live chats on the road, you can jump in the car with us and take a ride. You know what I mean? So I am rocking kind of something unconventional today. I had a you know a lot of activity in my Instagram post today for my outfit and my fragrance choice, being Tom Ford ombre leather. I have the new capture card, by the way. So as you can tell, this is a bit higher quality image if the focus would come back anyways than I usually have with my Logitech webcam. So I was hoping my NVIDIA RTX 3070 would have been in time. So we don't run the risk of the video card issue happening from time. It does happen from time to time, but whatever. I'm able to use my camcorder again. Everything's good to go. But back to this. So there is some added freshness from regular ombre leather eau de parfum, which is, this is still an eau de parfum. It's just a reworked fragrance. They added violet leaf, it freshens it up, gives it a little bit of an ozonic, slightly watery, aquatic feel. Good hit of some uh, powdery, floral, fresh orris butter, iris, if you will. Uh, this is a fresher fragrance. It's still a heavier fragrance, but not like the regular solid black bottle. So this works. It's, you know, 74. Yeah, I don't necessarily need to wear a hoodie, but I wanted to wear this outfit today. And I'm indoors. Who gives a shit, right? I, I felt like we're, I got this yesterday, and I was like, I am so wearing this today. Been wanting to rock this hat. Threw on the feel of 96 as a white and pink. I'm loving the outfit. Wife's loving the outfit, too. She kept telling me, good look for me. I, even in my Instagram posts, I said, go ahead and lie to yourself and tell me this fit isn't fire. And some people have taken their shot. You know, as expected, you know when you say stuff like that, you're going to rile it up. But it's been some fun conversation on Instagram, uh, I got to say. But. This is my scent choice for the day. I appreciate all of you joining me. We've got a pretty big crowd here. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Make sure to hit that thumbs up on your way in because it does help. It does help. It all matters. We'll wait till around the 10-minute mark. We'll do a split screen with iFragrance. We'll talk about some of these new releases. We kind of briefly covered Prada Luna Rosa Ocean, Le Parfum, when I had Dedrick on last Friday. And uh, I want to take a look at a few others. Two Man Spritz. I would definitely like to look into because um, I love sport and chill. They are really good. Um, as well as a few others, John Barbados, XX Intense. I don't think we really looked at it. We kind of touched on it briefly when I had Dedrick on. And uh, Isola Soul. Uh, outside of knowing about the apricot, I haven't looked at the note breakdown. So I'm highly intrigued because Isola Blue is the only fragrance I've ever given a 10 out of 10 to in a full fragrance review. So. We're expanding on that line. You have my curiosity, Raja Dove. So very curious. Check that out. Let's get caught up with the chat. So whenever they reached out, so whenever it's an in inventory in the States, they're going to be sending it to me. Um, sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. The meme, the running joke. It's either going to be good. It's either going to be bad. It's, either, it's going to be somewhere in between. I'm going to tell you guys what I really think. They're sending it my way. I'm pretty eager to check it out because I have quite the affinity for Ambassador. Literally wore it a couple of days ago, and I'm a big fan of the Intense as well. I don't understand why those two fragrances get any crap on the Internet. Just people will hate on anything. I'm getting hated on right now. Somebody's watching this and hating on me because people are haters. It's just what it is. Weird. Just ought to make some really good fragrances, so I'm very eager to check out Titanium. I have not looked at the notes yet. I'm kind of, since I haven't needed to, and it's going to be heading my way in a couple of weeks or whenever the hell they're going to be stocking it here in the States. I'm going to stay blind to it. I'm going to try to avoid anybody's opinion that happens to get it overseas before me, like Kareem or, or Jarino or any of those guys. I'm going to try to avoid their opinions. Shout outs to Kareem and Jarino. Check them out here on YouTube if you're not. Smell of Truth and Ode to Jarino. Good guys. And uh, yeah, we're going to just kind of go from there. So I'm eager to check it out myself, man. I've seen the bottle. It was in the picture in the email. So what's going on, Randy? I have not seen your video on that Hawass Ice. I'm a big fan. I wore it last week. I'm, I'm quite enjoying that one myself. Clinton, good to see you, Coach for Men. Great choice. Joel, always a pleasure. Tarathi Blue. Took the words out of my mouth, sir. I'm sure you got the alert for the like. Let them know. Let them know, my man. Kicks Griffey. Sin of the day is Hobdon. Kicks Griffey approved. FWO Wolf Pack for Life. That's what I'm talking about, my man. Let's see. Another one talking about the, uh, the NWO for Life. FWO, Mr. M.A. Styles wearing Do His Bad Guys, the Razor Ramon tribute, Scott Hall tribute, but he passed. 
for sure. I mean, we'll flash the tattoo every time we get an FWO or an NWO comment. We might as well. What good is the tattoo if you don't insert tattoo in proper moment, you know? Isola Soul got my 2ML sample yesterday. I mean, we're about to look at the notes, so what do you think about it? Let me know in the chat. Smooth operator, what's going on? Evening Mystique, indeed. I would venture to say it's a modern classic myself, but there's elite level bias there, obviously. But I'm glad you're enjoying it, my man. Climatic, good to see you, my man. John Two Spritz is an awesome name. Send of the day wearing Percival again. Can't go wrong there. Spending time with it all week and Easter weekend. It is indeed Easter weekend. We got Good Friday tomorrow. I was going to Louisiana originally, just uh, I've been so busy as of late. And then with the specific diet, with getting ready for the contest and all, because I was going to go support some some friends and the team as a whole at Bayou Muscle, at NPC Bayou Muscle, and uh, passed on it. Plus, I don't want to be super tempted because my family will be boiling crawfish all weekend. That For those of you not from Louisiana or around the area, Good Friday is the notorious crawfish boiling holiday. Man, I could go for some crawfish. The problem is I can't have the dip. I got to have the dip with the crawfish. The crawfish aren't the problem. The sodium is not even the problem. My blood pressure is low. I'm on a diet. I can have all the sodium I want right now. But I can't have all the dip and the potatoes and all that good stuff. So you, I don't want just one thing and not all of it. So I have to avoid the crawfish boils right now, unfortunately. So I'm kind of trying to stay away from Louisiana, even though I want to go. I'm due. I keep getting asked when I'm coming back. I might go next month. Didn't work out for this weekend. Might go next month, though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Toy 2 Pearl. Fragrance Buy had that in stock when I was ordering these fragrances recently. I, I debated on grabbing it. I ended up passing. Maybe later. Lamal Elixir. Excellent choice, Neil. So I might have to bounce around a little bit because I keep getting caught up talking about different things. But good to see you, sir. Care Pistachio is good stuff. I wouldn't want to wear that in the summer. It is very long lasting. It's very strong and loud, but it's a very sweet candy gourmand kind of fragrance. I wouldn't want to wear that in high heat, personally. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying I wouldn't. I got asked about red tobacco in a comment literally five minutes before we started the stream. Can I wear red tobacco in the summer? I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying I wouldn't. <laughs> That's kind of how I look at it. I wouldn't want to wear that in the summer. Eric, good to see you. Noel, always a pleasure. Wore an absolute classic today. Wore Profumo. And uh, funny that you mentioned that. I'm going to wear the parfum is the plan for tomorrow. And then we're probably going to hit the beach Saturday. So Asad Zanzibar is the plan for Saturday. I'm going to wear some long sleeves. I still have fresh ink. I can't run the risk of a sunburn right now. Like it's just starting to peel. So I'm going to wear like one of my real life, like UPF 40 fishing shirts or something with a bucket hat and the wife wants to go to the beach, so we'll go to the beach, but I'm going to have to cover up because I cannot risk sunburn on all the fresh ink. I got uh, probably two weeks before I can probably put that in the sun comfortably. Kalitaly, good to see you, sir. Mankind Ultimate for daytime office. Ood Lemon Mint for tonight going out. I hope you have a good time tonight. What's going on, my man? Hashtag the final boss. Acknowledge me. Wearing ATH Ohm. <sighs> Killing it. For those of you that have never tried Aaron Terrence Hughes Ohm, in my opinion, one of the greatest iris fragrances ever created. Top five iris all time, in my opinion. The Bishop Jared Miller sent me Travel Atomizer, which is right by, right behind those uh, Scent Journey fragrance bottles. It's right in that line right there. 9.75 out of 10. Good to see you, sir. Imperial by Electimus, beautiful fragrance. So we're almost 10 minute marks. So I'm in inevitably going to have to skip ahead, find a stopping point, and we'll jump into our split screen. But we'll be, we'll do a lot of back and Fourth chat, and you guys know how it goes on these live streams. Nishane Ani, excellent, excellent choice. Good to see you, sir. Limited edition, great choice. Speaking of great choices, excellent choice, Alan. Kalen, good to see you, sir. No worries. Hibiscus Mahajad, is that how you say that? Well, enjoy whatever you're doing, sir. Going into the office. Uh, hope you enjoy the replay when you come back to watch later. Ralph, excellent stuff. Right back at you, sir. Damn, it smells good in chat. Armani Code Special Blend. Never tried that. Tobacco Rouge. All right, good to see you, Mikey. Terrence, always a pleasure. Nothing but good health leading into your competition. Sin of the day, Kajal Om. Thank you, sir. Thank you very kindly. Jet Black Platinum, highly recommend. I have that one. I haven't worn it forever. Forever. But I do have it. I have the absolute, no. 
it's either the intense and the absolute I have or the intense and platinum. I think it's the intense and platinum that I have. Those who want the 180p always works. You can never go wrong. Checkmate by Central Obsessions, Aventus and Andy Warhol Hybrid. Good to see you, Dame. Thank you, man. Thank you. And for those of you that didn't see the Instagram post and don't know what shoes I'm talking about, Feeling 96 Grand Hills, white and hot pink. They're not all the exact same pink, but it works. <laughs> it works. I'll take the hate. I'll take the compliments. I don't give a shit. I love the outfit. I love pink. Is what it is. Hope everyone's having a great day. You as well, sir. One million royal. I need to reach back for that one myself. So let me let me try to skip ahead and find a uh, decent spot. So uh, this I got this from Lids. They had blue floral, pink floral, and I think like a light green floral. This was last year, and it was for a lot of the MLB teams. I want to say they had the Rays. No, maybe not. They had the Astros and and like a lot of the main culprits. Because nine times out of ten, you'll see the Florida Marlins over the Miami Marlins because more people like that logo. I've always loved the Florida Marlins since I was a little kid. So I, that's why you always see me wearing a lot of Florida Marlins hats. Rarely. I do have some Miami Marlins hats, some of the newer logos, some of the older logo when they switched. But I have way more of the Florida Marlins logo because it's just, to me, one of the greatest logos in sports. So, all right, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. My man, that's what I'm talking about. I appreciate that, sir. Oh, for sure, for sure. And look, some of the some of the stuff was people just fucking with me, joking around. It's all good, you know. I haven't seen any like real hate yet, but it's it, it's the day is young. As far as the outfit, the day is young, you know. Who cares? Fuck them. Well, hey there, yeah. Long time no talk. It's been what thirty minutes. One million lucky today. Stuff kills every time. Hope you're doing great. I am doing well, sir. I know you're doing well. You're smelling great. Shout out from the Philippines. Excellent. Shout out right back to you. My wife is half Filipino. Not yet. We're going to talk about it in a loop. That's probably the first one we're going to look at. Yeah, I, I like Jasada a lot. I really do. Well, I'm getting whenever they get. I was literally told whenever the stock hits the U.S., we'll send you tracking and let you know it's on the way. They agreed to hope you understand. I'm going to just go with my natural flow. There's a risk involved with what I'll say because I'm just going to, you might hear cursing, you might hear, and they agree to it. <laughs> so that's because uh, I've altered my standard reply because now I add the cursing in there. Because if, uh, if it's going to be on a live stream, inevitably an F bomb is going to be somewhere in the live stream because I'm usually going to go an hour or longer and the, the fragrance won't be the, the focal point the entire time. So I have to let them know that there's a potential profanity in the event that it's live stream format. So they know full and well they're getting into when they want to send me their fragrance. This goes for any and all brands. So, and I appreciate most of them, are, most of them get it. Most of them get it. So, which I appreciate. All right. So guys, I'm, I am skipping down. I apologize. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt. I do now have to make that disclaimer because from time to time we get people getting their feelings hurt and they get all upset in the live stream that their questions don't get answered. So my apologies that I am skipping ahead right now, guys. Oh, real quick. I'll catch this one on the way down. I would recommend uh, Vibrant Vetiver Delight. It is not vetiver dominant. It smells like Sprite to me. It smells like lemon lime soda. It's bergamot and lemon dominate the top. Fresh green. It's got a little bit of zest to it. Fresh woody tone. But like it's no earthiness whatsoever to the vetiver. I love it. It's great. It smells like Bald de Freak from Byredo. It's great. Grant Hill, I'm hating. <laughs> no, you're not. Come on now. All right, so we're making it to the bottom. Okay. So it wasn't that I reviewed it. I mentioned the new Zahara fragrance. Bloom has gardenia in it. It's it's a it's three different types of jasmine and gardenia, and it's also centered around uh, resins like a lot of incense. It's an incense white floral. That's going to be pre-selling in about a week, roughly. Uh, in fact, I need to call George tonight and see what he would like to do, because I usually get the word out on whatever's going with his pre-sale. Um, and I'm 
I don't know if there's going to be a discount code associated with it this time. Or we only He's only done that once where the code was active. So I'm going to let you guys know in the next couple of days what's going on with that. But pre-sale is about to start in roughly the next week for Bloom. It's called Zaharoff Signature Bloom is the fragrance you're talking about, my man. So, uh, oh, so you have it already. Okay, well, yeah, that's... <laughs> That's the one I would have recommended. So, all right, let's let's jump into the split screen. Let's uh, let's see what's going on here over on ifragranceofficial.com. For those of you that are not following them on Instagram, you really should because like they literally just dropped the ad video from the Roly Portofino Parfum in their stories about ten minutes before we started this live stream. So, I I highly encourage you guys. I fragrance official like that nose fragrance place. They usually copy I fragrance official. I don't know the person. I hope you don't get your feelings hurt if you happen to watch this, but I see you. It's what it is. <laughs> you know, you copy their, their stuff and look, it is what it is. Inevitably people copy one another in this space. It goes with content creators. It goes with all that. It is what it is. My point being your one-stop shop for, you know, getting the information first is going to be I fragrance official. That's the main point I want to make here. Fragrantica, um, why am I drawing a blank? Parfumo, base notes, like they'll all get it around the same time, but I would say nine times out of 10, iFrance is going to have you covered first on the scene. They're the hot reporters on the scene first, if you will. So enough giving them their praise that they deserve. They've earned it over the years. Let's go ahead and get down to these fragrances, shall we? All right, let's scroll ahead to the front. We might even take a look at the new uh, Chrome United and see if anything's different. But we are going to start with Lunarosa Ocean Le Parfum. Love the red to black gradients on this bottle. So the only beef I have with this fragrance, and I don't mean the parfum specifically, I mean the line, is the word ocean. They're not aquatic. Why would you call them ocean? I don't think of the ocean. Now in the EDT, a little bit. Yeah, sure. But I get more iris caramel stuff like that, sweeter fragrance, whereas the EDP was more about like a smoky vanilla. They kind of got away from the iris, and it wasn't as syrupy of a sweetness. It was more of a vanilla sweetness. So let's see which route they went with the Le Parfum. Did they reinterpret the EDT? Did they add to the Eau de Parfum? I don't know, but it's the best looking bottle of the bunch, I got to say, at least my opinion. Let's read their press release, shall we? Prada Luna Rosa Ocean Le Parfum allows a fascinating dive into the blue depths of the ocean. I don't believe that, but then again, I haven't looked at the notes yet, just based on the previous two. And reflects the intensity of the seas. We'll see. The latest creation from Prada is, is a unique fragrance that contrasts extreme sophistication with particularly aromatic freshness and sensuality. The new Le Parfum sets strong accents with this bergamot accord and is completed with vetiver and elegant iris essences. So it's back to being centered around iris. Piques my interest for sure. A unique fragrance that contrasts extreme sophistication. Okay, so I already read that part. An aromatic amber fragrance. Okay, so bergamot accord, iris essence, and vetiver. So nothing about aquatic notes or the caramel from the first one or vanilla from the second one, incense from the second one. Aromatic leather amber floral, leather accord, huh? Hmm. I mean, it's got potential to be a banger. I'm probably going to blind buy it. I'm going to just call it what it is. I'm, I'm going to get it. <laughs> I'm not going to act like I'm not going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm interested. Hmm. I still don't see nothing to tell me oceanic, though. They don't always give you all the notes. I mean, there's more than three notes here. They give you three notes. That doesn't mean it's only three fragrance oils in there. There's stuff that they're not telling you. So a lot's left for interpretation. So we'll see. We'll see when it comes. What do you guys think? Does this interest you at all? Are you going based off of the first two? I'm thinking there's going to be nuance of both mixed in here. I think even though they're not listing the caramel or the vanilla, I think we're going to get one of the two. There's going to be sweetness here because if they're flankering, the previous two were sweet but different sweet. I said, yeah, this like caramel, thick, syrupy kind of sweetness with some freshness and some iris on the first one, the EDT. And then the Eau de Parfum was more about resins and vanilla. So I think we're going to get a combination kind of of that blended into this formula. 
that's as an assumption based on how things normally go with these designers and their concentration increases, but they definitely have my interest. Let's get into another one before we get back to the chat. There we go. Scroll up. So let's look at John Barbados XX Intense. Close. So I don't have John Barbados 20. Is it 20? Is it XX? Because XX is Roman numeral 20. Hmm. I don't know. I don't, I don't have that one. So I don't know what... Because I have XX Artisan Teal and XX Artisan, but I don't have XX. So here we go. Is the new Eau de Parfum from John Barbados inspired by the raw energy and electrifying intensity of rock and roll? So we did read this when I had Dedrick on. I remember reading this. Some of you were probably here. This edgy and bold fragrance for men who live life at full volume. Step into the spotlight with JVXX Intense. This rich, pulsating, and seductive twist on John Barbados XX Original is injected with new fragrance notes and a whole new level intensity. Let's just look at the notes. Ginger flower, bergamot, verbena. Damascon cyclamen, because I remember saying it might be a little bit of an aquatic tone because of the cyclamen. Geranium, roasted coffee beans, tonka beans, cedar wood. Okay. So we did cover this one, actually. And uh, that does seem quite interesting. This does seem quite interesting. Now, this is one that, admittedly, I will not just buy at retail. Because I know if I wait, I'll get it cheaper in a few months. Might be six months, might be eight months. I don't know. I don't have to have it right away. Lunarosa Ocean Le Parfum. I'll probably buy that one in retail. Probably will. Or maybe a few bucks off of retail if I get lucky. But this, I'll probably wait. I, it does have my interest. I do want to try it. I will blind buy it when the time comes. I'm not going to buy a sample of it. I'm just roll the dice. If I can get it 60 bucks or less, I'm going to buy it. So whenever that time comes... Even around 70, I might still buy it. It depends when it's hitting the discounters and what it's priced at. And if I want it badly enough at the time, we'll see. But that's kind of where I stand with it. It does seem interesting. Ginger flower, you got some verbena bergamot, so some freshness. Cyclamen that's going to add to freshness. The geranium could be sweet. The geranium could be earthy. The geranium could be minty. I don't know. I haven't smelled it, obviously. Damascone, don't know what the hell that even is, but roasted coffee beans, tonka beans, cedar wood is an interesting base. Now, I would probably have some sort of idea if I had tried the original. I've tried other flankers, the two artisan flankers I have, but I haven't tried XX or 20, whichever the two it is. So that's my thoughts on that one. I want to see what you guys think. Let's get caught up in the chat. Baby Cat is so fire. Big props from Virginia. Love the channel. Brian, I appreciate you, sir. I'm glad you're here. And I agree. Baby Cat is phenomenal. Shout outs to the bishop for the lovely gift. Man, that vibrant bed. Oh, okay, I read that already. Uh, most of the time, I just wear whatever I was still planning on wearing. Once in a while, I'll like, oh, it's rainy. It's muggy. What would be good for the day? And the last time I did that, I wore Bulgari Man Rain Essence. It's named right. It's got this herbal tea, clean, musky, fresh kind of feel. Like it, it's for a gloomy day. It smells like a gloomy day. It's appropriately named. They're telling the right story with it. And it does work well on a rainy day. So the last time I actually was like, ah, oh, it's a gloomy day. What would fit? Last time I actually did that was that fragrance, which has been a while. Normally I just wear whatever else. Like if it would have rained today, it wouldn't have stopped me from wearing this. I wouldn't have switched it up. It was bright and sunny today. Okay. What's going on, BK? Help a moderator out and hit the like button. Let me click refresh, see where we're at. We've got 165 people currently here in the chat. 86 likes. We are so much better than that. You beautiful people. I appreciate you. And I know you'll do me that favor. Just as fast as you can blink, you can click that little thumbs up for me real quick if you don't mind. It does indeed help. Let's see. Kevin, how are you? Mind Games, the forward. Such a great house. Divine. How are you, sir? Been a little bit. Welcome. Glad to have you. Yeah, I don't, none of the three really strike me as an oceanic fragrance. That's why I never understood the name. The EDT is about the closest to being an oceanic fragrance, and it's still really not. The Eau de Parfum, nothing about it says ocean, watery, aquatic. 
deep sea, nothing about the Ode Parfum. Same, Scandal Parfum Absolute. Very nice bottle. So I know Randy, fragrance dude, is very eager to get his hands on that one. Hmm. Teased their own. What'd you dislike about it? Just a curiosity. Manhattan by Primera from Josh. Good to see Josh. Hope you're well. <laughs> the Red Sea. There you go. Sea of Tranquility on the Moon. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, my man. Ooh, wearing a Killian fragrance. I've never tried that one. I don't know. I was wondering the same thing. You, sir, I got to be honest. And, and I go back and forth. I, that that phrase, every time I say it, it's like, why do we, why even say that shit? I'm always shooting from the hip with what I got to say. Um, when it comes to Dior Home Sport, I go very back and forth. Like, I can only keep one. What would it be? Most of the time, that one's my answer. Over the, ir the Iris fragrance, believe it or not, the 2012 is like – the one I love all for it. It's a phenomenal line of reformulations. If there was ever a flanker that was reformulated every few years, that was all of them were great. It's Dior Home Sport. Okay. When they do a fifth one, I'm sure it'll be great because the newest one's great. I prefer the newest one to Dior Home 2020. <clears throat> Point being, the 08, the original formula is so good, such a good basis. And you really smell that one in all of them. But the way the blood orange gives that zesty citrus with the woody nuance in 2017, that's why every, most of the time when this comes up <clears throat> or I think about it, this is my answer most of the time. Sometimes it's the 08. Sometimes I'll throw 08 out there as my favorite. But more times than not, I say this one. I think if you're to have one Dior Home Sport, this is just me, it's that one. Well, there you go. So me, Randy, and Dedrick are going to be doing a three-way decant swap uh, second week of April. We're going to be doing a live stream here on Monday on the 9th. Here's the 9th on my channel later in the evening. It's going to be a good time. So just give you guys a heads up on that. Reflection, man. Great choice. Looking for a summer beast. Oh, they got tons of those. If you want one that's kind of polarizing that some people will tell you is not a beast, but on me is a beast. Thought Zanzibar is like 35 bucks right now from the top. I'm wearing it to the beach Saturday. I've been wearing it once a week. There's a great cheap beat. Now it's fruity sweet, but nitro red is a jam. I gotta say, I'm impressed. I put my review out this morning on it. I'm digging this one. This is good. This is my jam. Super youthful. Very playful. Nothing serious about it. If you ever liked Hawass and Invictus and YEDP and fragrances like that, you'll like that. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't seen anything like the loam line seems to be dead, for example. I have not. Matthew, good to see you, sir. Really tempted to drop some money on some Ralph Randolph Engineering Aviators. Center of the day is Sidra Wase. Hey, man, sometimes you have to treat thyself, you know? what? What's the point in living if you don't enjoy it? Good to see you, sir. Second time this year. Hi from the UK. Hello, sir. Good to see you. Is a rose accord. Okay. Thank you. I did not know that. Oud wood, great choice. I don't know. I don't have they don't have any release dates on these listings. So it's pretty much just here. So whenever I hear something got released, is pretty much when I share the information. They do put out some good stuff. Good to see you, sir. Commodity Jim Jen Barreto Stream Steamed Rainbow. Never never even heard of that one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. $2 super chat. 40 knots. Hope you're doing well, Chris. I'm doing very well. I hope you're doing well. Also, I know you smell good. One of the better Zerzhov fragrances that I own. That's definitely top three of the like nine. I think I got like nine bottles from them now. It's definitely top three. It's good stuff. What's going on, Drew? Go Dodgers. <laughs> Go ahead with the Dodgers with your bad self. Uh, Cidrapoise. Or I'm going to start burning people just messing. Let them know, Kyler. Let them know. Stay on them. Afnan, supremacy in heaven. And I haven't, I didn't understand it, but it's becoming great and great. Your thoughts. Uh, the first time I smelled it, when I first bought it, I was like, eh, I like Siaj more. That has shifted because the quality is better. It's not as cheap and synthetic and chemical smelling up close as Siaj. Um, it's smoother. And I would say it's like 80, 85% 
Silver Mountain Water, it gets pretty close, close enough. Performance is pretty good. Like I, It's become one of my favorite ways to smell like Silver Mountain Water, basically. Uh, kind of over Siage these days. At first, I didn't feel that way. But over time, kind of shifted. Thank you for telling me to wear a code parfum the other night. Went amazing. I appreciate you letting us know. So for those of you who didn't know, he had a first date the other night, and he, he threw out three options. And uh, one was, I think, Ambassador. I forgot what the other – Intense de Drapoise and Code Parfum. And I was like, oh, we got a clear-cut winner here, Code Parfum. No, it wasn't a first date. It was an anniversary date on a patio, rooftop patio. Am I remembering correct, my man? I think that's what it was. I know I'm remembering the fragrances, and I believe I fixed the situation correctly. Glad it went well, my man. I did see Hanny's post earlier. Yeah, I saw that. Welcome, sir. Welcome. So we got two more we're going to look at here in a minute. I just wanted to catch up on the chat. So we got two more I want to check out. We're 30 minutes in. Devin, good to see you, sir. Versace Blue Jeans. It's been at least two years since it's gotten any use. It's timeless, though. Can't go wrong with it. All right. I didn't like the original ocean, maybe because I was expecting actual organic fragrance. I totally get it. More powdery mess, in my opinion, of course. Ooh, good one. Good one. Excellent. You smell like Boss Bottle and Intense for cheap. Summer in a bottle. Raja quality and longevity. 2 ml will probably last all summer. Really? Lean's feminine, but I'm loving it. It's probably because of the apricot. I mean, that don't bother me. Uh, Isola Soul. I have high hopes because Isola Blue was so damn good. So damn good. I have such high hopes for that. Bottle looks gorgeous. I hope they continue to do these Isola fragrances, like do one every summer for a few years, like build a collection of five or something. Please, Raja Dove. <laughs> Especially if this one's a hit too. I hope. I sure hope. The most wanted as my sin of the night. Hell yeah. Good to see you, sir. So, so night vision EDT, I was about to say, as soon as I saw the beginning of the sentence, hope you're all having a great Thursday. I'm having a great Thursday. Um, it's even better now that you're here and you let me know you're wearing Spice Bomb Night Vision EDT. My man. Uh, so I got very dry tobacco was like the main thing I got from it the first time I smelled it. And if you go back and watch the live stream where I talked about it, everybody was like, how are you getting that? That's not in the notes. And we looked at the notes and what I was smelling was not in the notes. My skin chemistry gives some weird reaction with that fragrance. So that's why I don't have it. It smelled good. It like it just didn't compel me to want to get a bottle. And I think, uh, yeah, Jared Bishop, the Bishop Jared Miller sent me a decan of it. I still have it. And uh, I just didn't care for it enough. And it, it was like it came out weird on my skin. All right. So I got to skip around a bit. My man with the 99 Super Chat. Just showing some love to the big dog. Blessings to you and your family. By the way, I think you would enjoy Nitro Blue and Green. That's the next two I want. It's funny that you say that. As well as Gotta Step Away, fam. Picking up the young one. We'll be safe getting young fella. I appreciate you coming hang out, my man. I appreciate the Super Chat, and we will see you soon. Drive safe. All right, so we made it to the bottom. Does anyone else find Spice and Wood similar to Boss Bottle and Intense? Not really, because I don't get any of the fruitiness. The spice and the woody tone, sure. I can kind of see where you're coming from, but I don't I don't completely get it. The biggest difference is going to be that fruitiness. So, all right, let's take a look. Let's switch over and see what else they got cooking here. I want to check out two spritz. I mean, hell, let's look at Beast Love and Bubble Forever from Montal. Speaking of Montal, let's check them out real quick. I saw Montal's actual posts for this. Oh, wow. We got the actual pyramid. Juicy pear, sweet plum, Sicilian bergamot. Black leather, white cedar, Turkish rose, Haitian vetiver. Vanilla pods, Brazilian tonka bean, pure musk, dry amber. Fruity leather, edible. So it's a, it's a gourmand leather. Well, all right then. Sweet plum, juicy pear, ooh, with black leather, rose vetiver. I don't think this is going to be super feminine. I don't think, unless it's loaded with rose. I don't think it'll be super feminine. This doesn't strike me as that, even though there's pink on the bottle. Shout out to pink, you know. Uh, and I don't mean the singer. I mean the, I mean the color, the actual color pink. 
um, this looks like this could be really good. And I never test Montals first. I usually just blind buy them. If they interest me enough, uh, if I see a note pyramid, I'm like, ooh, sure, I'll just buy it. This has potential. Anybody that likes gourmands and leather, looks like they might have something interesting for you. Let's see what they say. Beast Love's new fragrance Montal is a hidden gem. How is it a hidden gem if it's just now releasing? In a faraway castle. So, oh, so this part of the story. Okay. Faraway castle surrounded by the awe inspiring nature. The alluring blend fuses the luscious pear and plum, while Sicilian bergamot adds an awakening, refreshing burst of energy. Amber and musk collide with vanilla pods to strengthen the blend and lend its, lend its solidity as well as longevity. Dominated by nature, this magical forest is adorned with aromatic Turkish roses, so it's a fresh rose and dry Haitian vetiver, while leather in the background sings solo, a blend that's impossible to resist. Hence, Beast Love. Interesting name, for sure. Le fruity leather. All right, then. Pink to gold. Let's check out Bubble Forever, I believe is the name of it. Yeah, Bubble Forever. Now, this has to be a girl. Yeah, for women. I was about to say, this one's got to be girly. Literally looks like pink bubble gum, like bubble gum. I'm not even going to read all that. I just want to see the notes. Grapefruit, Sicilian lemon, Williams pear, Calabrian neroli, Ceylon cinnamon, Egyptian jasmine flowers, Bulgarian rose, Tunisian orange blossom, sweet toffee, vanilla beans, musk, and amber. So this is kind of a fruity floral here. I bet my wife would love this. Loads of florals in the heart. I bet the cinnamon's just enough. I bet it's not a lot of spice, but just enough. Sweet toffee, vanilla beans. Probably really intensifies this pear, grapefruit, lemon. This looks like something my wife would enjoy. She loves the fruity floral profiles. Might have to look into that one for her. What do you guys think? Talk to me. Or as EQ likes to say, talk to me nice. You know? Or I got one for you. I used to say this one all the time. Talk to me dirty, but not too dirty. How about that? What you think? Does this strike you as too feminine? I think it would be super feminine, honestly. I don't think it's something for me, but I think it's something my wife might find interesting. All right. Now, on to the original plan. We were speaking on it a minute ago. Let's check out Isola Soul. So we had a baby blue, sky blue, freshwater blue color to Isola Blue. Isola Soul, we have this yellow, orange, sun-kissed, orangish, yellow, whatever, blend. Vibrant color. I don't want to know the story. I could care less right now. I want to look at this note right now because Raja Dove uses a lot of fragrance oils. Lemon, bergamot, mandarin, pettigrain, apricot, peach. Okay, so that's why I, for, I, I apologize. I forgot who mentioned it's a little feminine. <clears throat> but apricot and peach, that's probably why it comes across feminine. Neroli, jasmine, sambac, lang lang, coconut. Oh, okay. So this probably has a little bit of sunscreen, fruity, all that good stuff going on. I could see where the just the heart mid, why he would say it leans feminine. I bet it does, but I bet it's still really good. I bet it's not super feminine. Pink pepper, cedarwood, sandalwood, amorous wood, salty accord, musk, and ambroxan. I bet I'm going to love this fragrance. I bet I'm going to love this fragrance. And if it gets sent to me, people are going to say I only love it because I got it for free. Because people are stupid. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I love his work. That's what it comes down to. Raja Dove does phenomenal work. He really does. I don't know if they're going to send it to me. I'm hopeful. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm not. I sure want to review it. I sure want to check it out. I bet it's going to be good. That looks like a good note breakdown for the summer. Fresh fruitiness. If that pedigree stands out, man, fingers crossed that the pedigree stands. I love that fresh green accord that it brings to the table. And I hope there's more coconut here than Isola Blue. There's not a lot of coconut accord that comes out in Isola Blue. It's more of a sweet citrus. This could be really good. I think this would be really good. What do you guys think? We'll go back to the comments. 
We covered a couple real quick. Let's get back to the comments. Where was I? I actually haven't sprayed mine since I got it. Like I did a first impressions and I haven't wore it yet. I have it. Low Dissy Sport. It's weird. It's citrus and leather and spice. It's like a fresh. It's not really all that sporty. Like it's kind of fresh, but kind of woodsy and leathery. It's a strange one. Some people swear by it. It was a weird animal, perhaps, but I like. Marcus, good to see you, sir. Gucci Pour Home 2, but crazy prices now. Have you come across or heard any clones? I have not because I've never even tried Gucci Pour Home 2, believe it or not. For as much of a community darling as that fragrance has been over the years, I've never tried it. Decadent, sweeping, juicy. Maximus. Mm -hmm. About three days ago, I haven't heard anything. What would you recommend doing? I would recommend uh, messaging on Facebook Messenger, Michael Dinsmore. That's what I would recommend doing. Three days ago, haven't heard anything. Might be a processing time because he does have multiple full. He's got a full time job. He DJs as a, he's got like three gigs on top of blending fragrances. So it's a please be patient kind of thing. Densmore is salt of the earth, but I would recommend messaging him on Facebook Messenger. Michael Densmore, that's the owner operator, great guy, salt of the earth that I was referring to. How are you? Greetings from Chile. Right back at you. Greetings from Florida. Trisardi Reflesso. Good to see you. Fragrance Fraternity. Uh, I've been wearing stuff in the spring. I'm just kind of mixing it up with some slightly heavier stuff just to do it because it's not like super hot yet or anything. Um, I've been rocking spring stuff. Like the last month of content has been mostly spring videos. You, you haven't been watching. Have you not been watching the content? Because you wouldn't have asked that question, sir. Hmm. Um, for me, it has been like, what have I really been going to lately? Because I mix it up all the time. I don't really go back to stuff over and over because I'm always trying something different. Um, well, actually, believe it or not, Latafa Saad Zanzibar, I've been wearing at least once a week. Even though that's not really a spring fragrance, it's summer tropical. I've been wearing that once a week. Um, Sauvage gets in the rotation pretty much weekly because I use the aftershave splash at least once a week. So I wear Sauvage once a week. Not an exciting answer, I know, but it's, it's what I've been wearing, you know. And uh, so as far as stuff I've really been reaching for a lot, it's not really anything too repetitive. Pear Potion from Paris Corner, I wore that several times in the last like two weeks, week and a half. That's really good. Been sold out, though. Very fruity, fresh, musky. Good stuff. Not not bad stuff for spring, just not stuff I would say is exactly spring, but it's what I've been wearing. I mean, it's a you know. Intense to drop was a hell yeah, good choice, good choice. Thank you, lovey solo soul. There's more coconut. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Yes. I'm, I'm very much going to like it then. Um. I'm looking that note breakdown looks great to me. It just does. And look, if I end up loving this one close to or as much or even more, God knows how could I like something more than a 10 out of 10. But if I like it around the same amount, I like it as a solo blue, even if I like it a little bit less, I'm sure hoping he continues that line. Like I said, and does like a collection of three, four, five fragrances or something, maybe do one per summer for the next few years. Cause this one looks like it's going to be really good. Yes, sir. I sure did. Did you see the shoes? I don't know if you saw on Instagram. <laughs> so, Grand Hill 2's Feel of 96. Yeah, I went all in with the pink. I love pink. Pink's my second favorite color. My three favorite color, well, four. I'll give you four. These are the four main things you'll see me wearing. A shade of blue. Usually a brighter blue, but if you like navy. But brighter blues is number one, especially Carolina blue. That's the obvious. High vis yellow, pink, and all shades of it. The hotter the pink, the more I like it usually. And gray. Gray is my white and black. I like gray. That's my favorite monochrome, monotone color. When it comes to monochrome, I'm a gray kind of guy. But when it comes to colors, I like the bright colors. I wear darker stuff too, don't get me wrong, but more times than not, you're going to see me in a bright yellow, a blue, 
most of the time or a combination of the three like green like I, I like a lot of bright colors but that's my three main ones highlighters i like highlighter colors good thing i live at the beach huh because that's kind of the theme here not really because I, I actually prefer wearing each of those over any clones of them because i have all of those well i have a an, almost a whole ounce of that in a decant, but I have a bottle of that and a bottle of that. And when I get in mood form, I just wear those. I don't really rock any of the clones except for uh, De in the Paris Corner North Stag collection. That's the latent inspiration I've worn most recently that's really accurate outside of that. Save up, my man. Save up and get the real ones. I mean, the clones are cool and everything, but if you want the real experience, at least get samples and try them. So that way, if you're going to go with the inspired fragrances, you have a gauge to go by what you deem to be closest. Does that make sense? At least try the originals first. So you can say, okay, this is what it smells like. So this is what I'm looking for. Make sense? Because there's a lot of clones and inspirations and dupes and twists and all that stuff out there. Dilly, good to see you, my man. Oh, damn. That's impressive. Well, the new word is inspired and inspiration. That C word's becoming a curse word on this channel. People are getting it, getting uh, kind of gone after by some of these uh, parent companies now for that word. And uh, yeah, I've been seeing it happen to some of my peers and uh, the inevitable is I'm going to have to deal with it at some point. So moving forward, there's a shift in uh, inspired fragrance videos. Notice when I did Milano Privé, I said inspired fragrance. I didn't use the C word. Kind of going forward, I'm not going to use the C and the D words anymore. Uh, notice Noelle. Shout out to I am Noelle. I noticed she beeps them out or says, I'll tell you what it's similar to. Let's talk in the comments. I saw her do that the other day. I was like, oh, she's caught on. So, yeah. Brands are cracking down. They're not fucking playing with these, these uh, C word houses anymore. So... Just know the inevitable's coming where there's going to be a shift in content, guys, because people don't want to lose their channels over the shit. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. There's ways to go about it, and some are going to stop altogether. You heard it here if nobody else has said it before me. That's kind of an undercurrent that's kind of going on. So, Because I'll be damned if I'm losing my fucking channel over that. Mm -mm. Worked too hard for this channel over the years. Mm -mm. Not worth it. So, inspired, sir, inspired, 90% plus, notice I've been saying that, because I've been saying for a long time, none of them are carbon copies, none of them are one-to-one, -one. and something I always hold true, if you want the real experience, you should experience the original in the first place. I've been saying that for years, because I always I do feel that way. There's some good ones out there, inspired fragrances, there's some good ones out there, but you should always try the original. So you know what you're working with. Not a bad fragrance in the house. Rocking salt and pepper right now. I'm doing well, sir. I hope you're doing good also. Tell the difference from OG. Last way longer. Uh, I gave it an 8.5. I did a full review on it. Good stuff. Probably once a year. I'll probably do it once a year. I've added a few hundred fragrances since that video where it was 1,400 plus. I'm creeping up on 2,000. I don't know. It's probably 1,600, 1,700 fragrances now. Yeah. It's never ending too. So I'll probably do it once a year, like maybe next spring because I did it or maybe in the fall or something because I did it not that long ago. It was a few months back, like four months ago or something. It wasn't too long ago. So year like a year later from the collection video, I'll probably do an update. Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird when people go to shitting on fragrances. I had a dude earlier saying the worst purchase of his life. I said, damn, you have lived a blessed life. If this is the worst, worst, worst mistake I've ever made was what he said. I said, damn, if this is the worst mistake you've ever made, you have lived a very blessed life, man. And I envy you. You got to throw it back at some of the stupid shit that gets typed. Do you mean to tell me that's the worst decision you've ever made was buying a cheap fragrance? Who's exaggerating? Come on, Pampin. I like my camos, you know. 
Oh, I skipped around. Michael Gassaway is somewhere in the chat. There he is. Oh, I had read his comment. Didn't even see the name. My bad. What's up, Mike? My favorite IFBB pro. Royal Equestrian is a good one. It is definitely a good one. How are you, Zerjoff Naxos? The clone induces feelings. I want to find something to match it. Mm. Or outdo it? Mm. I don't know. If it makes you feel that way, I would say continue wearing it. Only you can decide if something's better than it. Because if I think something's better than it, there's no guarantees you'll think it's better than it. Truth Bombs. Good to see you, Roy. Monkey Special, loving it, of course. I hope you're doing well. And that's for a lot of people. If you just don't like it, you just don't like it. But going shit over it, shit over it, shit all over it on the internet, that's unnecessary. You just say, ah, I didn't care for it, or it doesn't perform like that for me. And man, I had high hopes for it. It disappointed me. You don't have to go all in on a fragrance. It's just a fragrance. We're getting it. Bam. Enjoying it now. So in the opening, yes, as it dries, it's so much more coach for men. It is so much more coach for men as it dries down. But when it's got the sweetness early, because the sweetness dies off for me, but I'm still surprised by it. I loved it. Loved wearing it yesterday, by the way. Love bad boy cobalt. Like love, love, love. Super love. Like 9.5. <laughs> love that fragrance. I was, it was such a joy to wear. And people talking about weak performance and all. That's a you thing, not a me thing. Mm -mm. Lasted every bit of 10 hours on me before I took my shower. I could still smell it. It was not faint. It wasn't strong, but it wasn't faint. I didn't have to dig my nose into my arm. Losing my train of thought. So at first, I get the Invictus Platinum tie-in. Early stages when the sweetness is there at its strongest, absolutely, I totally get the tie-in. But it dries into more coach for men. The gray bottle, it's more like that. It's like a two stages, like Invictus Platinum, then it turns into coach. And I love that about it. It's actually really, I, clearly, I just raved about it for a moment. Good stuff. Push fragrances that are just dupes of other scents and are uninspiring. Pretty sure what's because on the free bottle train. Because I end up having to skip around a little bit, so I'm not 100% sure which part of it you're talking about, Matt. If you don't mind elaborating, I'll try to remember that that's what you're, you're elaborating on. Excellent choice. Yeah, I call it the C word now. Because one day I might wake up and have a bunch of community guideline strikes out of nowhere because it's happened to a couple people and got to have a conversation with YouTube <clears throat> because they're dubbing them promoting counterfeit goods like Instagram, people losing their Instagram pages. You remember how that's been happening a lot? Same thing. These brands aren't playing with people ripping off their creations. <laughs> they're, they're not playing anymore. They're not playing. So it is what it is. I will, I've already course corrected and anything that I need to pull off of this channel because, uh, you know, parent companies were pissed about it. I will gladly do so. Just let me know what the fuck you need gone. That shit will be gone. And if you check my social blade, you'll see minus however many views. I don't care. I'm not losing my channel over, over a C word fragrance. Ain't gonna happen. Hell no. I didn't put too much into this fucking channel. Ain't worth it. I don't care if any viewers get upset by it. Y'all just got to understand. Y'all are going to see a shift in content creation when it comes to that stuff. Because people are not going to want to lose what they built. What they put all their time and effort and passion into. Over those fragrances. These fragrances aren't worth it. Not when you put this much time in. I can only speak for myself when it comes to how much time I put in. But it's just what it is, guys. I'm keeping it real with you guys. That's, that's a thing that's going on. Some people might get mad at me for talking about it already. I don't give a shit. I shoot from the hip when I talk. I told you guys this many times. <clears throat> like I said, it's the inevitable. It's the inevitable. That uh probably end up having to have a conversation with my rep from YouTube at some point. Because it's happened to a few people that I know of already. Not counting who it's happened to that I don't even know. Yeah. So any content creators watching this, course correct. Don't roll the dice. Not worth it. If you love what you do and you're making your content, it's not worth it. Course correct.
talk about the fragrance as an individual. Let everybody watch and talk about what it smells like. You guys know what you're looking for. Viewers, you know what you're looking for. If you like your favorite content creators and everything, of course, I would think you would want the best for the, the their platform. And that's what's going to be best for everyone's platforms. Just keeping it real with you guys. So you'll notice a lot of uh, word tracks have changed and are can continue to change. At least for me, I've changed and I'm sure. And I've seen a few others that are course correcting. I'm observant. I'm very observant when I see it. I've never tried it. Summer here in Chile. I dare to say that in my skin is a banger. Noted. No. No, I've seen ads for it on Instagram. I've never tried it, though. Which I got tons of fragrances that have a sunscreen smell to it. So, yeah. Yeah, and that's where the real problem is, is those bottles. That's the biggest problem. From my understanding, the bottles are the biggest problem. So, and I've been complaining about that. Stop ripping off the bottles. I've been saying I've been saying that for two two years now, something like that. There's a certain company that's really bad about it. I'm not even gonna say, but you guys know <laughs> it's really bad about it. Well, thank you, sir. It's definitely the pink. And I'm using my camcorder. I've got a new capture card. That's okay. Just because I love it doesn't mean you have to. Sounds amazing. I also get a very similar vibe, which also I don't like. It's not going to upset me that you don't like a fragrance, man. Everybody's different. It's all good. Everybody's got different taste. It's just not for you, unfortunately. The king of the super chat has arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, Volcanus wearing Wulong Cha, a true warm weather home run of a fragrance. Great performer, great profile. Tea, citrus, zest. Vigor, loads of vigor. It's a very invigorating scent. Beautiful, woodsy, aquatic, citrus tea. It's good stuff. Fig, a little on the soapy side, the fig. Not an earthy fig. I don't recall ever trying it. So even a thumbnail, even a saint's hat. That's initially what got me here. Who that? Hell yeah, who that? I'm wearing long sleeves. Otherwise, I'd show you my Florida Lee on my forearm. It's not a Saints Florida Lee, but it is a nice Florida Lee. I'm from South Louisiana. I'm from home in Louisiana. 45 minutes southwest of New Orleans, my man. Long time, diehard, lifelong Saints fan. Mr. Who Wanna Smell Me? I love the name, and I appreciate that. Thank you, my man. Cap game strong over here in this household. Just letting you know. Glad, you, glad you're enjoying the content, too. Argos Pour Home and Vince Camuto Arm Ohm smell nothing alike. Not even remotely close. One's a gin and tonic fragrance. The other one is more about bergamot, vetiver, and violet. This is classy, math, traditional masculine. This is fresh, fun, vibrant. This is gin, tonic, citrus, kind of stuff like that. Beach life, Pomelo Paradise. Great choice. Ooh, we're upgrading to a two-bedroom with a balcony. Next move in two years will be a Clearwater or Panama City Beach. Well, come on down, sir. It's great over here. As long as everybody goes the hell back home and gets off their vacation here for spring break, it's, which they're starting to trickle away. My gym wasn't packed today. There's still some, some stragglers kind of lingering behind. There's still some broccoli haircuts hanging around the gym, but they, they've whittled down quite a bit. You know, The filthy, filthy white shoes and, and broccoli haircuts are starting to whittle away. Why are their shoes always filthy? White shoes, filthy. I don't get it. I don't get it. I come from an era where we, we keep our shoes kind of clean unless they're the shoes we don't care to keep clean. Like you'll never see these dirty ever. The only thing you'll ever see dirty is the bottom of your shoes ever. Now, look, is it just me being weird? Sure, whatever. But I, that's why I can't relate to shoes being just filthy, filthy. Air Force Ones, white vans, you name it. Blazers, they're just filthy. And they look like they don't play in the mud, but their shoes are filthy. How do they get so dirty? I don't get it. Anyways, Cosmic Pepper is a great fragrance. I agree. I'm still going to get it at some point. French Riviera is amazing. Vetiver Sensuelle is amazing. James, good to see you, sir. We started with that one. We started this. So just scroll back. We started with that. We got one more I want to cover. And actually, we'll touch on Chrome United. Let's go ahead and do that now. Let me uh, skip ahead real quick. 
Uh, no, there was no testing of any fragrances. We're just covering the information on these releases. Yeah, no, none of these have been tested. I don't own any of these fragrances yet. Almost. There's more than what you can see in the shot. Plus, there's a load of fragrances here. The load of fragrances behind me. Almost. By the end of this year, yeah. I venture to say by uh, the start of 2025, it'll probably be at 2,000. It's a long lasting fragrance for me too. It's just, it's really good. It's under, it's, it's gotten praise over the years, but I don't think the praise has been grand enough for the performance of it. The smell, sure. And the versatility. Ooh, I bet that is good. Good to see you, sir. Black Orchid. Yeah, it's a, hey, a lot of people love that one. I don't know. I've never tried it. <laughs> You'd have to scroll back to look at the notes with us. Good to see you, sir. Ooh, Neffs. Talk about a beautiful, sweet fragrance. Thank you, sir. Flow Man, good to see you. Another one wearing Cosmic Pepper. Right? Their shoes are always filthy. I don't get it. And it's always white shoes. And they're, and they're filthy. It's like they buy them so they can make them dirty. It's weird. Never tried it. Polaroid Extreme. That's a lot of people's favorite version of Polaroid. Good to see you, Darren. Smells more double black. Okay, Dawn dish soap and toothbrush and all, all my shoes except my beaters. Yeah, who gives a shit? Certain beaters and even my gym fragrances. I, gym fragrances. Gym shoes. I try not to beat the shit out of them, but I mean, I don't hinder my workout over the shoes I'm wearing. I still train, and do whatever motion, and whatever. Like if I'm doing the ab wheel at the end of a workout or something, like things are getting creased and drug on the ground and all that shit, you know? Okay, so we have two more. Let's look at Two Man Spritz. A little over an hour. We got 172 hanging with us. I appreciate you guys. Hearing my little rants here and there. I think that's part of why you guys come. You like, like me to entertain you. Dance puppet. That's basically what I am. Dance for me, puppet. So uh, let's look at Two Man Spritz first. Look at that color, that sunburst color. I just love the way the bottles look. Two Man Chill and Two Man Sport look really good. And they smell really good. That's my two favorites. So let's see what they got going on here. This one, I will read what they wrote up about it. The Two Man Spritz Eau de Toilette Fragrance with 50 ml spray. It invites you to live life in its most bubbly version. With its top notes of bitter orange, juniper berry, pineapple, and mandarin essences. Okay. Eyebrow raised. Okay. You, you, you got me. They give an aromatic yet amber touch along with the heart notes of caramel and bourbon geranium, grasso lavender essence, and pink pepper. In its base notes, we can feel the woody touch of amberwood, patchouli essence, orchinox. So this is a mon perfumed fragrance because orchinox is a mon exclusive oil. That's in Evening Mystique. It's of the ambergris family, for those of you wondering. And leather accord. It's even got a leather accord with all that freshness. Its bottle in a gradient color evokes the feeling of having a glass in your hand. Okay. An amber fougere, bitter orange, jungle essence. What? All right. Juniper essence, pineapple, and tangerine. So take the jungle essence away because I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. But bitter orange, juniper, pineapple, and tangerine. That sounds like a great top and opening spray to me. Caramel, bourbon geranium, lavender, pure pink pepper, amberwood, patchouli essence, orchinox, trademarked through mom, and leather accord. I wonder how the leather accord comes across. This has my intrigue for sure. I'd like to get this one. This one will get relatively cheap, relatively quick. If I can get this one around 50 bucks. Now, look, one day, a year from now, year and a half from now, it'll be a $30 fragrance. But when it gets to around 50 to 60, I'll probably grab it because uh, I'm highly interested. I'm not buying it at retail. No, I'm not. I'm going to wait on this one, but eagerly waiting on this one. What do you guys think? Definitely type something out and let me know what you think because I'm. it's got my interest. Eyebrow razor at the top. So did they just rebottle it or is anything different? Chrome United 2024. I like that they went more with traditional chrome bottle. The cap, a little bit nicer-ish, but... Traditional chrome caps have always been kind of signature, you know? 
New Fragrance for Men launched is a new version of the iconic fragrance with some twists on the notes, so they changed it. It's a reformulation. Elevate it day by day with Azaro Chrome United, a woody and fresh fragrance inspired by a trip to the sea with friends, the strong bond of friendship, and the fun moments that make life more exciting, more relaxing, and enjoyable. The fragrance is dedicated to all men who like to have fun and enjoy the time with true friends and is ideal for everyday life, work, sports, nature, and going to the gym. Azaro. <clears throat> Azaro perfumes are, well, so it's supposed to be connected are a separate chapter in the success story of Loris Azaro, who is considered, who considered it essential to create a perfume as the finishing touch to an outfit. I agree. His obsession with aromas come from the Mediterranean Sea that borders Tunisia, where he spent his childhood and adolescence. This sea is his eternal source of inspiration. Bergamot Lavender Vetiver. Simplistic note breakdown. So does it not have the T note of the original? Because the thing I always liked about the old version, it's crazy to say now, the old version of Chrome United was very relaxing. It's creamy, aromatic herbal tea. If I'm ever still wound up in the evening and I need some aromatherapy to help me wind down, that's the go-to. That's the only time I wear that fragrance because it's really good for it. And clearly that's not what's going on here anymore. At least that's not what they're telling me in the notes. Still has lavender, but I don't see anything about tea. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Not super interesting to me. I have no desire to get it. I'm not saying I will never have a bottle, but it doesn't pique my interest to the point of where I feel like I need to get it anytime soon. Thoughts? Uh, it's been a long time since I've smelled it. I had a 2ML sample. It's been a few years since I smelled it. I only smelled it once, so I don't remember it. It's not in the Rolodex. Yeah, a lot of people have been after me about where to get it. And they're like, where did you get your bottle? I'm like, the link where it's sold out in the description. <laughs> yes, sir. Let them know. Let them know. It smells like Spice Bomb, but the cinnamon smells more like cedar. $10 steel. Udvani smells like burning wood and roasting marshmallows, but doesn't smell like by the fireplace. It smells like outside burning a fire. It's not super smoky and super spicy, but when you smell it, you'll get where I'm coming from. It smells like roasting marshmallows by a fire. Appreciate the $5 super chat, Don. My day is very well. I hope yours is well. Also, sin of the day is a Zaro Most Wanted Parfum. We talked about that one in a video this week. Excellent choice. I used Armor All leather conditioning wipes on my leather shoes way better than soap and water. I still use Jason Mark. That is an old habit. I stopped waterproofing my shoes just a few years ago. I used to waterproof. That was the first thing I would do when I bought any shoe. Leather, suede, didn't matter. Hyperfuse. Remember Hyperfuse's heyday with Nike? Even those, even those shits, I would spray it. Even though it's probably irrelevant on the Hyperfuse. It's just plastic, fused plastic, melted plastic together. But I just a few years ago stopped doing it. Because, <laughs> like, I'm very cautious when, when I'm wearing J's and stuff like that. Anyway, but Goldfield Banks Purple Suede, great choice, Pink Panther. Shout out to Pink Panther. I'm, I'm trying to be you today, sir. Uh, so Reinhardt perfume, uh, Le Parfum from Fragrance World is a good inspiration that I would maybe look into. Now it's the the Parfum Fahrenheit Parfum. As far as an inspiration of the original, I don't really have anything directly. There's designers that kind of smell like it, um, but I don't have anything specifically. Gentle fluidity, good stuff. Could be. I don't know. I hope so, man. E any of the lines, I'll take one. Give me something, Versace. It's been a while. I'd be open to any of those lines. Torino 22-21, Tony Iommi, Golden Mocha, Zafiro, Decas, but which I can't make up my mind. Recommendation, first world problems. I mean, I haven't tried all of those, but Torino 21 and 22, I mean, 21 is really good, especially if you don't have Aqua Celestia Forte. It's a spicier take on that is kind of how it smells to me. Um, I think Torino 21 is the best of the bunch here, but second choice for me would be Zafiro.
but I like that style. Not everybody's going to agree. But that's kind of the two I'm thinking. Cracking down on content creators saying the word clone is just, uh, damn it, I slipped and said the word. C word is just un American. I understand not wanting to fuck around, though. Hey, man, I get it. I figured it was inevitable. They can't do anything about the formulas, but they sure can about the bottles and the way it's uh, marketed. Because technically, we're marketing. We're giving an opinion on something and we have influence. Like you, a lot of you guys value my opinion. If I really like something, whether I tell you to sample or not, some of you crazy assholes are going to just blind by the shit. Because you're all big boys and girls and do whatever the fuck you want, right? So that's the reality. So I understand why you, you know, cut the cut the knees out of the source because we're t the source in the online community. Content creators. So I get it. It sucks, and it's not worth it. So course correct. Any of you watching this, course correct. Not worth it. So, shout out to Ashton. But well, I mean, based on the what the write up is, it's supposedly different. Hell yeah. I like the Braves. I love the Braves, actually. No. If you're moving to Miami, yes. I hate when the panhandle gets lumped in with South Florida. Everybody hears Florida and like, oh, it's just hot all the time. No. No, it's not. If you're in South Florida, yes, you're way close to the equator. But when you're in the north or in the panhandle where I'm at, no, it's not just hot nonstop year round. So sorry, I'm kind of fussing a little bit because shit happens all the time. I'm literally, it's springtime. I'm wearing a hoodie and jeans and I'm not sweating. And I was outside. It's in the 70s. It's not crazy hot. Do I need to wear a hoodie? No. I just really wanted to wear it today, but it's not so warm that I couldn't get away with wearing a hoodie. And it's, you know, end of March. There's people at the beach. It's spring break. It's just beautiful weather right now. Even next week, it's still, you know, mid to low 70s. Nothing crazy hot. Now, look, will we get to 100? Yeah, but that's later. Not just hot all the time. It was cold. We had a cold winter. We had some January and early February was especially early February was really cold. And the mornings were 30s. Midday was 50 with a breeze coming off the water. Felt like, you know, in the 40s, it's pretty cold. A lot of humidity makes for a bone chilling cold. 45 degrees here feels like 25 degrees in Colorado Springs with the dry air, which I lived at before here. So I can compare pretty easily. So it depends on where you're moving in Florida. You're moving mid midway and down, yeah, you're going to be limited. But if you're midway and up, you'll have your opportunities. Oh, you can. You just roll the dice. You roll the dice. Like I said, it's a it's about promoting counterfeit goods. Is my understanding is the the guideline strike. It's in the guidelines. Because. If it looks like a counterfeit, if it looks like it, like that's the bottles, you know what I mean? Like there's a certain brand that's super guilty of this. They're the main problem. Remember Estee Lauder and Tom Ford? This is the ball rolling. So I get it from brands. I get it. I get it. I'm not mad at the brands. I get it. I'm not mad at either side. I just make my content. I love perfumes. I love fragrances. I like talking about them on the internet. I, enjoy, I get a lot of joy out of this. But if it's going to cost me something detrimental to what the time and effort I put in, I'm just, it's not worth it. I like all kinds of fragrances. And you can still talk about these fragrances. You just got to go about it the right way. And the ones that look like ripoffs, Fuck them. You won't see them here anymore. Not worth it. Not worth it. I don't care how good it is. This going to potentially cost, cause a lot of trouble for a platform, for somebody's platform that they put so much time into. Man, it ain't worth it. There's a lot of fragrances out there, guys. A lot of great affordable fragrances out there. If certain ones are going to cause you hassle, get rid of them shits. Bye, Felicia. You know? 
it's just it's just the smart move. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Stallwalker at the same time. I had no idea why I couldn't just have them both. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. They were supposed to do that, though. I remember seeing something about it. Oud vanille or oud tobacco. Ooh, maybe both. Yeah, I mean, if I had to pick between the two, it's kind of tough, but I'd probably lean to oud tobacco. Selly, good to see you, sir. Love from Belgium, Kenny. Love from Florida. Haven't tried it yet. I do want to get a decant and try that one. I, have, I don't know. I've never smelled it. Everybody assumes I've smelled everything. <laughs> I mean, I saw, what about this one? I, I don't know. <laughs> Not that, I don't, maybe one day. I'll never smell everything. But, I, you know, stuff that interests me, I usually try my best. Oh, and then we got a counterpoint to it right here. I would absolutely buy a bottle of the original Fahrenheit. It smells so good. Very unique. But my dad's been wearing it since it came out. So I fear it would be weird. That's fair. I get where you're coming from. I understand there. Good to see you, sir. So I do quite like it. I understood why it was polarizing the first time I smelled it, but it grows on you quick. At least for me, it grew on me quick. I actually quite appreciate it. I want to see how they're going to do flankers with it. It's pretty nice. Like I get this orange blossom heavy. I get citrus. I get a little woods and musk to it as well. It's actually quite versatile. Pretty nice. Going back to that name. Thought the word I thought Boz was the dead name and you weren't using that anymore. Would you hear what you say? I'm a new man. There you go. That's what I'm saying. They need to get away from ripping those bottles off, too. That's the biggest problem. Had a warm winter, barely snowed. Yeah, every time I check the weather, because that's because I visit Chicago two or three times a year. I go see George and um it didn't seem like, because uh, it's on my weather app, it's one of the home of Louisiana, Chicago, and here. Um, and it didn't seem like too snowy. I didn't hear George complain about snow too often, because snow sucks to drive in. It just does. It seems like that. Now, the year before, there was a lot of snow. It was snowing too, because uh, I went in Thanksgiving in, around Thanksgiving in December of the previous year. And uh, actually, this past year. No, year before, because I go every year. And uh, it was snowing a lot more. It was snowing pretty much every time I went. No, <laughs> that's not the case. Mm. Definitely any Dior Home Sport, any ver any of the four versions are great. Um, CH Men Sport, never got a lot of love. I like to wear that one. That's my golf fragrance. When I go play golf, I like to wear that. It's weird. I wear a fragrance for most things. I don't know what to tell you. Is it there's is there a point to wearing a fragrance when you go play golf? No, just wanting to wear it basically. Um, what would be another one? Probably Two Span Sport. Actually, we were talking about it a little while ago. It's very good, juicy orange, good stuff. Yes, sir. 40, 50 shorts and t shirts on. I could say, well, yeah, but it's probably really cold most of the time in Minnesota, so that is like. Nice weather for you, you know, because you have really, really cold winters. Yeah, for sure. I couldn't agree more. In their prime, who was the best fantasy? Oh, Adrian Peterson. Adrian Peterson was so much more consistent. Adrian Peterson is probably, aside from LaDainian Tomlinson, who you omitted from the list, probably the greatest fantasy football player of all time in a PPR league. Definitely LaDainian Tomlinson. Maybe Marshall Falk was up there, but LaDainian, people forget how much of a point monster LaDainian Tomlinson was. That sucker. He was number one for years, number one overall pick. For years and years, it was whoever got first pick was taking LT. That's just what it was, man. It was like that for a stretch with AP as well for several years. But Foster had his little stretch. I've taken Foster at number two twice before uh and jamal charles it was it was short-lived but he was a monster it was short-lived for him though injuries really screwed him up adrian arian foster too but adrian peterson is top three all time in my opinion as far as fantasy players especially in standard scoring he was a monster in standard scoring 
because he didn't catch a lot of balls. But, boy, you talk PPR. <sighs> LaDainian Tomlinson, the GOAT, the actual GOAT in fantasy football PPR leagues. Ooh, I want to get one today. Ooh, that's tough. That's real tough. Versatility, more wearing opportunities, I would say Percival. Thank you, Boz. Come to Buffalo. One storm was five foot of snow. Yeah, it snows like crazy over there. The Bishop, what's going on, my man? Thank you, sir. Appreciate you stopping in, sir. All right, so let me skip ahead a little bit. So we're hour 20. We'll shut it down about an hour and 30. Let's see. Skip ahead. What's going on, my man? How are you? Making sense crowd pleaser. Uh, day in and day out, I don't choose. I usually try to plan a few days out and, you know, subject to change, just like wrestling cards, subject to change. Um, I'll try to plan out the week. And for a few days, I usually stick to it. But if I get something new in, I'm like, oh, I want to switch it up and wear this tomorrow. That happens. But you got to have some kind of system and method in place if you're going to have the amount of fragrances I have. You can't just willy nilly think you're just going to walk in front of almost 2000 fragrances and be like, what do I want to wear today? Unless you're just really good at making assertive, quick decisions and it's your thing and you're not wishy-washy and like, oh, maybe this, but maybe this, but maybe this. If you're not that guy, which most of us would be, you stand in front of the collection, it's like, holy shit, the hell do I want to wear today? And you have so many things that would work for the climate, for what you can wear. You just have, let's just say, 100 fragrances that work for whatever you're doing that day. How do you pick between those 100? See what I'm saying? So I, there has to be some kind of plan. Even if you don't stick to it 100%, at least try to have a format. This is for me. This is just what works for me. Try to have some kind of format and a method to the madness, as I like to call it, because it's madness behind me. Got to have some kind of method that you can try to stick to, kind of a guideline for how you're going to operate with it. The AP was crazy. Yeah, he was, he, he, speaking of PPR, monster. Matt Forte. Had his heyday around the same time. Oh, easily Triumph of Bacchus X straight. Then I would say Adonis Wakens. Oh, wow. Still snowing outside. Damn. Yeah, I know. That BMW S1000, I bet you do. Bet you do want to ride. Good to see you, sir. Bois Imperial from Essential Parfums. My new signature scent. So affordable and for a niche. It's good stuff. A lot of people enjoy it. Priest Holmes, boy, are we talking early, late 90s, early 2000s now, huh? <laughs> Hell yeah. Le'Veon Bell, he had his stretch of being number one. Everybody, there's there's a lot that get their stretch of being number one. Um, Ray Rice had his stretch of being number one for a little while, too. Oh, I have. I've smelled the Eau de Parfum. It's been a long time, though. I remember Creamy Lemon is the main thing I remember. Oh, they're going live. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, we're shutting it down at the top of the hour anyway. So it works out. It's going to be on YouTube on Dedrick. Dedrick Hicks Jr. is the channel. So, yeah, they'll be live uh, in seven minutes, I'm, pro I'm sure. Uh, not really. I can. I mean, the reason I typically don't do those anymore is because you're looking at my office. So that's why I don't do it too much. Um, I can do something office related or because outdoor, if you work outdoors and labor force, you can do whatever the hell you want. You're outdoors. Don't matter. It's the office confined spaces where it's a little bit more tricky. That's why office safe is, is a bit more of a thing. That's why you see more office fragrance videos for work videos. Uh, then you'll see stuff you know, outdoors. Cause I get asked about what about us 12 hour shift guys and coveralls on where, what the fuck you want? <laughs> what I'm going to recommend to you when you literally wear whatever heavy or light fragrance you want, you're outside. doesn't fucking matter. You don't have to worry about it, but you know, bothering sensitive noses or being in the confines of an office. Uh, whereas it makes sense in the office. But I mean, if you guys want to see another one, it has been a while. I can do what I would recommend things that if I was going back to an office setting that I would want to reach for, because I do enjoy the office fragrances. That's just part of my taste, my natural taste towards fragrances. So it's not like it was something that was just specific for when I was 
had my own office and everything. A little different now. But I still enjoy the same type of fragrances. No, no, I've heard good things. I think the Intenso is kind of like Armani Code, if I remember correctly. I have been to Edinburgh, Scotland, uh, beginning of last year. I went to see uh, the fragrance apprentice, the artist formerly known as the fragrance apprentice, your captain, George Atkinson. Uh, captain filmmaker, as he's calling himself now with his captain hat. <laughs> Shout out to George. Uh, yeah, I went to see him in Scotland beginning of last year. <clears throat> I still have my Ray Rice jersey. He sure did knock his old lady out on camera, though. Ruined everything. Jesus, dumbass. That's what I hear. Edinburgh. Borough. Well, you got to say borough. Edinburgh. It doesn't look like it's pronounced that way. Edinburgh. You know, Edinburgh. Yes, he has. He is focused on his film career. You won't see any fragrance content from him. He's even renamed his Instagram. His banner on his YouTube channel is Buy Frag, Goodbye Fragcom for now. Yeah, he's not making any fragrance content. <laughs> that is done for the foreseeable future. Yep. That is not a joke. He is focused on his film career. Well, yeah, it just depends on your situation. You know what you can get away with. Well, because some offices have a very strict, very strict HR. <clears throat> and they really weigh on, on weigh in on some of these policies. Edinburgh. That's not how I've heard Atkinson say it. I've heard him and uh, Chris Fragmental say it many times, and that's not how I've heard them say it. And they live there. Well, Chris lives a few hours up, but there you go. Bit of old spice tonight. Hell yeah. Timeless, timeless spice. Good choice. Definitely a good choice. Anybody got anything else before we sign off and turn it over to uh, Dedrick, my tag team partner in the FWO and, uh, and Bishop, Jared Miller, Fifty Shades of Bishop. Anybody got anything else? We'll go ahead and shut it down. I'm actually caught up for a change. That doesn't happen a whole lot but we're actually caught up in the chat. I appreciate everybody. They gave some super chats. Um, appreciate you guys for hanging out with me for a while. We'll stream tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do just yet. <sighs> Debating on a few things. I've always, I, I juggle ideas for what I want to talk about in live streams all the time because we could always just do a live chat. Today I wanted to go over some of those in a split screen because I haven't really looked at them. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out for tomorrow. I always got some type of topic or something we can unbox. Might do a decant sniffing. What do you guys think? I want to sniff some decants tomorrow. So I got a bunch of stuff. I had one came in from Kix Griffey today. He sent me a package to the P.O. box. And I got a ton of stuff still from Jeremiah that I haven't even dabbled into. I got a bunch of stuff we can sniff tomorrow. We might do that. Pick out like five decants and uh, do some live sniffing and see what's what. See if we can find something to praise and something to shit on. You never know. Now we got a few more. Let's see if the original fragrance is because of the quality and effort perfumer put into it. That's fair. Now, if a fragrance is discontinued, can't find anywhere, then I get a C fragrance. Sure, that sounds good. Okay, we'll do that tomorrow. That's fair. There's a lot of people that despise those C word fragrances, and I get it. It's for that reason because it's it's ripping off the art of the perfumer. Because, like I said, I I'm, I land right in the middle, which some people don't like, because I come from the consumer side of it um so i understand both sides i totally get it true another one agreeing to the decants get a bag pick a random decant i could do that i could put like 15 different ones in a bag and just pull five random i'll do something let me do that okay we'll do that i'll put 50 i'll pick 15 out and we'll grab i'll put them in a bag and whatever five we end up drawing, we'll do one at a time. We'll do that way. That'll make some fun. Yeah, let's do that. 
Decant sniffing. The bishop is still here. You must have a separate window up. Well, you don't even put your phone on a damn tripod. So no, you're not. You're just not switched over to the live. You're going to be on yet. For those who didn't know, Jared likes to do this while he's uh, live. He just sit there and you know talk and moving around. It's like his phone in his hand. I need to buy you a damn tripod, man. A little small one. Like I keep one on my backpack. I take it with me to the gym. I got a tripod with me everywhere I go that I can put my phone on. Need to get you one like that, man. They're like 20 bucks. 10-4, sir. 10-4. But they're not purposely trying to make exact copies. That's the thing. And it's kind of, like I said, a big thing is the visual. The bottles is a big, big thing. From what I'm understanding, the bottles are a big part of the problem. <clears throat> He's laughing because I'm right. <laughs> I was encountered to try the rest available from the brand. Gazinia Womo, which is amazing. That kind of smells like Fahrenheit, but fresher. Classic Co. Never tried that one. I'm on a Zerzhoff sample week myself. Might be a Zerzhoff thrown in there. I got so much stuff that Jeremiah sent me. I'll just grab a bunch of stuff, including what Kicks Griffey sent me. I'll throw some stuff in the bag and and we'll pick some out. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll be around the same time, probably probably 5 o'clock Central, 6 o'clock Eastern, uh, possibly 4 o'clock Central. We'll see. It's either going to be 4 or 5 Central. We split the difference today at 4.30. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll set it up. Be on the lookout for content tomorrow. Check out the Dumont Nitro Red review from this morning if you haven't yet. Cheapy Jim, I got to say, everybody that told me I would like it was right. And now head over to Dedrick if you want to keep the live stream fun going. Head over to Dedrick's channel and catch out him. Check out him and the Bishop Jared Miller. Y'all have a good one, guys. <laughs>